Hey everyone, this is Marilyn. Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. If this is your first time joining us or viewing one of my videos, please go down below and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and click that little bell next to it to receive notifications of any new videos that I upload to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Pro Stitcher Designer and previewing your quilting designs on your quilt top or quilt project. Now, many of you know I've done a video, um, check the playlist on my channel uh, under Pro Stitcher Designer. We show how we bring in a photo of the quilt or quilt project that you're wanting to um, preview a design on, use it as a backdrop in Pro Stitcher Designer, and then preview your design on top of that um, backdrop. Well, today I'm going to talk about another clever way that I found to do that. Many of you know I purchased a Cricut Maker earlier this year. That's an electronic cutting machine, and I've been playing around with it as well as the Cricut Design Space software that comes with the machine. And I um, also have uploaded the app to my iPhone and iPad. I use my iPad a lot, but I'm going to be doing this demonstration today on my iPhone. And I'm going to show you how you can use Cricut Design Space and Pro Stitcher Designer together in order to do a live preview. I think you're going to enjoy this and let's move over to Pro Stitcher Designer. I'm going to talk about how this is done. Oh, if you want to download the Cricut Design Space app, just look for it under your um, iPhone store or your Android store and search for Cricut and it'll pop up and you'll find the Design Space app there and just download it to your iPhone or iPad. So I'm going to talk about how I did this. I'm in the uh, Pro Stitcher Designer software and I have already uploaded a design to the design page and this is in your Pro Stitcher uh, designs folder. It is from Sweet Dreams Quilt Studio so you can look under her photo or her folder and find this design. So when we upload this design to the workspace of course it has stitches already and we'll need to go over to the preview, select the design, and undo the stitches. So we need to go to the artwork tab under preview and click artwork to return it to artwork. So now there are no longer stitches in that design. The next thing you'll need to do is go up to the file tab, go down to export artwork, and we're going to place it in a location that we can find. Um, I'm just going to use the same name and I am going to save it as an SVG file. Now I've already done this. There it is right there. So I'm just going to click save and yes, yeah, so I'll just replace it. So that's all you need to do in Pro Stitcher Designer. Now let's go over to the Cricut Design Space. Now I'm on my computer for this one, but I'm going to show you how to bring it up and add it to your library. So in Design Space, click the Upload button, and I've already uploaded here, but just go to Upload Image and browse and go back to that location on your computer that you had your uh, file located. So I am going to scroll down. There is my SVG file and click open and there it uploads to your computer and you can name it with whatever name or just leave the default and then just click save. I'm going to cancel this because I already have it uploaded to my design page. So we're going to go back to that and I'm going to click on this one that I already have. So I uploaded it to my page. You'll see it comes in very, very small. You can increase the size of that design. 
and then I'm going to save that in my projects. So save or save as, and you'll give the project a name and click save. So now it's in your project files and you just need to go to our phone and pull up this design. So let's go to the iPhone and I'm going to show you the next trick. Okay, here we are at my phone and I'll click on the Cricut Design Space app down in the bottom to open it up. And then you'll see across the top, I have Home, Canvas, and Make, and I'm going to select Canvas. That'll take me into the Canvas design space, and I've uploaded my design. You'll simply do that by clicking the Upload button at the bottom portion of your screen. Just like we did um, at the computer. And upload images, and there you'll see uh, my files that I save to the cloud and you just select the first one there with the lines and circles and then click insert in the lower right hand corner and because I've already done that I'm going to click close. If you find the design comes in um, too small of course we can uh, click on it and use our editing buttons to make it larger. Gonna center that. Okay, and here is where the magic really begins. We're going to, you see that lower uh, menu? We're gonna scroll and swipe to the left, scroll right, and there next to our settings icon is that little camera icon. We're going to click on the camera icon and watch what happens. There is the picture. I have my iPhone aimed at the wall. I've got a uh, quilt hung up and I'm trying to arrange this on the face of that block. I want to preview it. So I'm going to grab my uh, corner points, my edit points, and center that onto the block design that I have up on the wall. And of course, just like any other um, taking photos of quilts for backdrop, for the uh, software, for Pro Stitcher Designer, or Art and Stitch, you will need to um, make that quilt flat. You want to be as straight on as possible. You don't want to lay it on the floor and um, try and photograph it from above because it's kind of going to distort it. So always when you do this you want to preview and then of course you can use your iPhone to snap a picture of your design. So I'm going to tap on that again and use my edit keys grab hold of that design and kind of center it on there you get the idea so there is how to preview a design on your iPhone or your iPad just like you would uh, by installing a backdrop into your software. So I hope you've enjoyed this cute little tip. Um, I had so much fun finding out about the camera in the um, Cricut app and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more about Pro Stitcher Designer, you're welcome to drop me an email at kksos at kksquiltstudio.com. If you're on Facebook, we have a group called the Pro Stitcher Designer Diner. Please join us. 
If you don't do Facebook, we have a message board called the Digital Quilting Bee. It is all one word, so type it all in when you go to groups.io. That's the web address, and then do a search for the Digital Quilting Bee. And you can always contact me through my website at kksquiltstudio.com.